This is Sean and Sue's podcast on 92.7 WOBM. The Ocean County Breakfast Show with Sean Michaels and Sue Ball. Ocean County's best variety. 92.7 WOBM. 92.7 WOBM with Carrie Underwood on a Wednesday morning, November 29th, waking up 6, 10, 50 degrees in Tom's River. And of course, yesterday afternoon, the bombshell went off that the Giants, our coach McAdoo, has decided to bench Eli Manning and go with Geno Smith this uh, weekend uh, for the uh, next Giants game against the Raiders. So Crazy. Uh, I was looking at this now, I, you know, first of all, I have always been a, a big uh, critic at times of Eli. There's been times where Eli's been very good. There's been times where he's been very bad. Yes. And the times when he's been bad, I've been yelling and screaming about, you know, Eli, what were you thinking? Well, why do you do some of the things you do? Other times he does things you say, wow, that was fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, winning two Super Bowls, you know, the whole nine yards. So with that being said, this team that the Giants have right now, is a problem not because of Eli, and changing him isn't going to change the dynamic of what's happening. In fact, it, it probably makes things worse at this point. And the thing that really got me was the fact that they're going to take him out and put in Geno Smith, who was basically a spare part pickup off, you know, uh, the Jets. I can't you know, got rid of him, this. And yeah. they're putting him in, at least if you're going to do that. At least if you're going to take Eli out. Put the rookie in and see what he's got. The Giants have nothing to lose by putting the rookie in because mm -hmm. they're they're going nowhere and going nowhere fast. This season is done. It's over. We're looking ahead to next year. But if you're going to take, first of all, I wouldn't take Eli out. I would keep the streak going. It's the only good thing we got going on right now. Um, I would keep him in there, let him do his thing. But if you're going to take him out, put the rookie in. I, I know the coach said, well, eventually Webb, Davis Webb is the rookie out of Cal University of California, mm -hmm. that eventually he will play. Not eventually. Don't even buy. You know, we've seen the Geno Smith show with the Jets. We know what that's all about. It, it's about nothing. And he's just a stopgap, you know, measure right now. So you're now. saying put the rookie in put, before if, him. If you're going to take Eli out. Put the but rookie in. What's the in. reasoning for this? Just because? Just to shake it up. I don't know. I mean, does is, he? Is this coach really? Him and Eli really don't get I along? I don't know. This coach I've heard has that. to go. The GM has to go. The team is a disaster. Um, and the coach has completely lost the team. Now, by doing this, the one veteran leader that they had on the field is now gone. And since when can you blame it all on Eli when it's a whole team? Now, there are times when Eli does some things oh, that I, makes it. me crazy. Yeah. But this team is not losing just because of him. For goodness sake. I mean, they have no offensive line. They have no running game. And every wide receiver they had is hurt. So tell <laughs> me what. Bench Eli. Give me what quarterback oh, would do it. good in these circumstances. So anyway, I think it's a, just a ridiculous move by the Giants. It is just a ridiculous end to a season. It's like the season that never happened Ugh. with the Giants. I mean, it gets it's worse just, and worse every it's week. It's just been unbelievable. Do you want to talk about this? You can call us 732 237 WOBM. What do you think of the benching of Eli yeah. Manning? Now, here is, you know, Eli just winning the award for the uh, philanthropist of the year. Yes. For yes. his work with his kids with cancer. I mean, the, he's one of the only stand up guys that's on the team that's out there actually giving a positive face to the team. Yes, he does some things that makes you want to rip your hair out and if you've noticed I've done that. Yeah. Um but at times he's also been Is good. Is that what happened? I lost all my Eli. hair because of Eli at times. No. <laughs> but here's a guy that's actually the face of the team. He's the only face of the team. Mm -hmm. Tell me who's who else is the face of the team. Tell me what other guy you probably couldn't even name another guy in the team, could you? I mean, Odell Beckham Jr.'s hurt. Well, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone, he's and hurt. and half the time people yell and scream about him because Jenkins? he acts, you know, crazy. Jenkins. Janoris Jenkins is a defensive back who's hurt. Is he um, still playing? Well, yeah, but oh. I don't think he's not the face of the team. Okay, but um, <laughs> I just hear about him on the news for some reason. It just Jenkins. seems that McAdoo has completely come off the rails with this one. McAdoo anyway, is a wackadoo. McAdoo do as I call it. Oh, okay. Um, go ahead and check out my story at wobm.com. It's on Facebook too. If you want to sound off, as Sue said. You you want to give us a call two three seven W O B M and uh, yeah. you know Sue. It, I don't it, agree with it at all, but yeah, I'm not the coach. Yeah. You're like, <laughs> please do <laughs> do more Giants. Yeah, as an Come Eagle on. fan, you bring could, more. You could bring be, more uh, bad let's quarterbacks face it, in. Deep down inside, could you be any less happy 
about what's happened with the Giants this season. I mean, well, the men in my life, you and my because, husband, because love the Giants. If, I, so. if, if it was reverse and the Giants are having the season the Eagles are having, and the Eagles are having the season the Giants are having, I'd be pretty well, you know, underneath my breath going. <laughs> I don't you know. know. I mean, I'm not no. really like that with the sports. I yeah. love going against you. But Eli Manning should not be benched, yeah. I don't think. Anyway, we'll be back and uh, check it out at <laughs> WOBM.com. The Ocean County Breakfast Show with Sean Michaels and Sumo. WOBM, good morning. Hey, Sean. How you doing today? How you doing today? What's up, Nick? Hi, Nick. What do you think of this? Now, you're a big Giant uh, fan. What, what are your f- first thoughts? They, they should have fired him from day one. I, I just can't see this guy as a coach. McAdoo. He he stands there, does nothing. He has his arms crossed, and they should have got rid of him a long time ago. Yeah. You don't think Eli should be benched? No, no. No he way. He's a, a team quarterback, two two time Super Bowl winner. Yeah. Now you agree with me? There's times where Eli does some plays, and you scratch your head and you rip your hair out. But there are times when you know he's been you know perfection. But at the same time. He's the face of the team. There is no other person on the Giants. Eli is the guy. How it, it, how could you bench him? I don't. I don't know what this. Guy, why don't they? The owners say something or do something about it. Yeah. They just sit back and let this guy run the team. And, and if you're going to have a bad job, if you're going to bench Eli, which I disagree with, to put Geno Smith in is even a bigger slap oh, in the face. Word. I mean, at least put Davis Webb, the rookie, in, and, and at least say, you know what, we're looking towards next season. We want to see what the, the future, rookie can do. Yeah. I agree. I agree with that call. Geno Smith didn't do anything when he was a starting quarterback. Yeah, Geno Smith, this is a complete and utter waste of time. Well, and, this is a slap you know. in the face to Eli Manning, yes. and I just don't understand. Exactly. Maybe McAdoo and him do not get along. Yeah. That's what we've been hearing. I was just about to say that. Yeah. Uh, he don't like Eli because Eli's more popular than him. Now, do you think because of the outrage, do you think there's a chance that there's a decision made and this is reversed before Sunday, or do you think, no, that that, that won't be the case? No, I, I think they might reverse that because, like I said, Eli's a supreme quarterback and uh, he should get his chance to keep starting. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I mean, he's your guy. I mean, you know, like I said, there's, uh, you know, there's times he makes me crazy, but not not to be benched. I mean, maybe right. to, you know, take him on the sideline and, you know, and yell, but not bench. Anyway, Nick, thanks, thanks for your call Nick. today. Check out my story. It's all about the benching of Eli Ugh. and whether or not, uh, you know, McAdoo Ridiculous. has come off his rails here. Uh, check it out at WOBM.com or give us a buzz. WOBM, good morning. Good morning, Sean. I wanted to talk about the Giants. Oh, okay. Eli Manning getting benched. What do you think? I am very upset. I mean, I'm old now, but I've been a fan since a teenager and used to watch it with my brother. And do mm. they really think it's coincidental that this is McAdoo's first season as coach and there's issues? He insisted on making the offensive calls, even though that wasn't supposed to be his position this mm. season. They decimate the... They're big front linemen, so they have no defense. And then the injuries took care of the offensive line this year. So what are they doing over there? Crazy. I don't know. You know, I've said before, I said earlier that, you know, there's times where I've been very critical of Eli, and I'll be the first to say that. I mean, there's times where there's been situations where I was like, oh, Eli, what are you thinking or whatever? But in this season and what's going on right now, really – it doesn't you can't just pin it on him making a change like this doesn't you know all it does is just throw the team more in a turmoil i think exactly i mean how does the team is practically all rookies i mean the one game it was the guy's first nfl catch yeah I mean, come on they gave him a team full of rookies but expect him to perform like he did with the super bowl team yeah it's just really not fair and i think what does the rest of the team feel like? They don't even support their Super Bowl quarterback. So what's going to happen with the rest of the guys? And there really is yeah. no there is no face to the team. I mean, o- Odell Beckham no. Jr. has gotten popular, but he's out. And, you know, he's had his issues okay. with some, you know, some temper problems. So people have, again, you know, been a little bit, you know, critical of him. But Eli just won like the uh, NFL's philanthropist of the year for his work with the yeah. children's uh, cancer. Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, he's the face of the team. I mean... You, you yeah, really, yeah. You, you, I just don't know. I don't I mean, get it. So. I do not get it. I'm not a huge fan of the Giants, but I will never agree with this one. No, and I'm not sure. I said to my husband, all right, if they make a change, do we 
do we follow Eli Manning wherever he goes, or do we just say, okay, we live in South Jersey now. We're originally from North Jersey. Do we start to support the Eagles? I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can yeah, do that. Yeah, come on over. Come on over. <laughs> we need you. What, what, town are you <laughs> what town are you calling from? I'm sorry. I'm calling from Sunset. Okay. Thank well, you. listen, thanks for your call today. <laughs> Hang in there. Maybe we'll we'll get some relief in the off season, and they'll fire McAdoo, and we'll start all over Come over again. to the dark side. No, don't, don't do that yet. <laughs> No, no, no. Let's bring back Tom Coughlin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Have a good day. And who knows? Maybe oh, there's boy. enough people get upset. They'll change their decision before the weekend and put Eli back in. I, I don't hope. know if that'll I happen. Hope. But anyway, check out my story, My Two Cents About Eli at mm-hmm. WOBM.com or give us a call, 237 WOBM. WOBM, good morning. We're playing the morning coffee contest with Sean and Sue. Who do we have with us? Dennis. Dennis, what town are you from? Lakewood. All right, Dennis, what song? Sean and Sue's Backwards Christmas. What song was that? White Christmas. Mm Mm-mm. Ah, sorry. White Christmas. Sorry, Dennis. All right, WOBM, good morning. Who do we have with us? Hello. Hi, who's this? David. David, what song do you think it was? I'm dreaming of White Christmas. No, it was not, but thanks. Mm. WOBM, good morning. We're playing the morning coffee contest. It's our backwards Christmas. Who do we have with us? My name is Shannon. Hi, Shannon. What do you think it is? Is it Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow? What town are you from, Shannon? West Creek. You're going to Six Flags Great Adventure for Holiday in the Park. You're right. Awesome. Great. All righty. Thanks for joining us at West Creek this morning in Southern Ocean County. You are right. Sue, it was Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. No idea on that one. It was Dean Martin's version, by the way. Okay. So Shannon and West Creek is a winner. We'll have more chances to win coming up with the WOBM 12 Days of Christmas and our Jersey Shore $1,000 shopping spree for the holidays. (laughs) Coming up with WOBM. 92.7 92.7 WOBM. There's Chris Martin along with the Chain Smokers, and he was on Modern Family last night. It was very funny because Phil was having a little medical situation, mm-hmm. a little uh, uh, you know uh, problem where he had to go see his urologist. Uh, oh boy! <laughs> but Chris Martin he ran into, and all Phil wanted to do was be left alone. But you know, of course, Chris Martin wherever he went brought a crowd with him, <laughs> and people wanted selfies and stuff. And poor you know Phil just wanted to creep <laughs> off into a corner and, and, and die because he was such pain um, oh, and, no. and he just couldn't get away from Chris Martin and it was funny because at any other time uh, you know Phil uh, would have probably been into it but he just wanted to be left alone but Chris <laughs> Martin was everywhere with him and, and a crowd ensued and it was just uh, I mean uh, very funny stuff oh, last goodness. night on Modern Family if you didn't get a chance to check it out you can probably watch it on demand today but uh, <laughs> he was even putting ice packs on Phil and he was just like please leave me alone please just leave me alone <laughs> Hey, weather for today, Sue. 41 right now in Tom's River. All right. Uh, Cooler, mostly to partly cloudy. High near 50 today, and then light rain. 92.7 WOBM with Michael Jackson on your Tuesday morning, November 28th, 641, waking up 34 degrees. So we're talking about French toast today, National French Toast Day. So we take a local look at where is the best French toast. So we were okay. asking listeners to get social with us and tell us where they think the best French toast is. Now, Stacy wrote in, she said, Me Moms <laughs> up in Wall Township All right. has the best French toast. You know, a lot of people said their own house, but some (laughs) others, uh, Tina says that Wallach's Farm Market and Deli right here in Tom's River. Have to check that out. Yeah. Has uh, a French toast bake Mm. and uh, also uh, Shut Up and Eat has amazing French toast Mm. as well right here in Tom's River. So, Tina, thank you for those comments. This place is delicious. Uh, Michael wrote in, he said over on Long Beach Island, the chicken or the egg has the best Did French you toast. Have it over I've there, never Sean? had it no? at the Chegg. I didn't either. I didn't even know the Chegg had French toast, mm. but uh, they, you know, there was another one. But uh, Me Moms got a lot of response. Kathy, <laughs> Jim, Sheila, all writing in Me Moms wow. there in Wall Township. So okay. those were some of the different uh, locations throughout Ocean and Monmouth counties uh, that you can find great French toast. So, you know, I like French toast. Now, is Me Moms a restaurant? Yes. 
to restaurant. I, I'm thinking literally it's grandma. Yeah. Okay. No, that's Me an Mom's is an restaurant. actual restaurant there in Wall Township. I have to yeah. check that out. Yeah. So uh, there you go. But a lot of folks, I got the, the most recommendations, Me Mom's there. Okay. But uh, I know a lot of the diners locally make a very good French toast. Someone mentioned uh, Shut Up and Eat. I know yeah, my shut girlfriends, up and eat. when yep. we go there, mm-hmm. they always get the French toast. Now, I like syrup on my French toast. I don't like powdered sugar on my French no toast. No powdered sugar? How about I, fruit? Um, you yeah, like the fruit uh, stuff uh, on not it? On, no? uh, not on the toast. Okay. Pretty much just the maple syrup and butter. All right. But uh, butter, however, baby. You, however you like to take it, you got to have a little butter on there. You can't go without the butter. However you do it, enjoy your French toast this morning. It'll warm well, you up. It makes me feel like French toast now, Wake doesn't it? Wake up with Sean and Sue. Ocean County's best variety. 92.7 WOBM. 92.7 WOBM with Madonna on your Wednesday morning. Sean and Sue in with you. 640, 48 degrees, and we're talking about the Jersey Shore, the reboot of the uh, Jersey Shore series, uh, Jersey Shore Family Vacation. And we were asking listeners how they felt about it, whether they'd be watching this reboot. And interestingly enough, a lot of the comments that came in were, were, were negative to the fact that people weren't into it. All mm-hmm. right. Okay. Uh, Mitchell wrote, I never saw an episode of the series when it first aired. I have no plans on watching this one. Linda says no with a bunch of O's <laughs> no and a way. lot of exclamation points. Yeah. <laughs> Lorraine says not. Duchess wrote, never watched it, never will. They just make the Jersey Shore look trashy. Mm-hmm. Angela said she never watched it, but she might because she'd like to see the kids in this new one. Okay. Okay. Now, when you look at the survey that we did, we had a lot of people voting online whether mm-hmm. or not you'd watch it, yes or no. Fifty-two uh, percent said no, they won't watch the series. Forty-eight percent said yes, they will. Oh, interesting. So it is almost an even break when it comes to our online survey that we did yesterday. So there are obviously people who are saying, you know, that they are going to watch this new reboot. Now, I was watching some of the comments that were coming in, and one of the folks that wrote said, I don't think they're coming back to the Jersey Shore. Like, this will feature the Jersey Shore cast, but they're going to be somewhere else on vacation. So I don't know if that's true or not. Mm. So if that's the case, sort of takes them out of the picture, although Jersey Shore will be stamped on the name and sort of subliminally linked to us. (sighs) You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it'll, it'll still be somehow be it, linked. It'll still be the Jersey Shore, even mm. if they're not in Seaside at the right. house. Crazy. So, but anyway, so that's what some of the folks had to say. Thanks for getting social with us on uh, social media and folks taking part in our survey. But nearly a, a 52 to 48 break there in yes, no. So very close in the voting. Definitely. I am very surprised because most of the comments, maybe people were who don't want to put that they're going to watch it, we're more apt to vote yes and yeah, just click yes I mean, that's than to actually put their thoughts out there on you know Facebook mm-hmm. and stuff. So, But uh, that's what we found out with the series Jersey Shore. Look for that coming to television on MTV next year. The Ocean County Breakfast Show with Shawn Michaels and Sue Mall. Ocean County's best variety, 92.7 W. WOBM. Good morning, Sean Sue with you with Corey Hart on your brand new Thursday morning. It's 840, right now 43 degrees in Tom's River. And we're talking about a brand new idea all about the gender reveal. You know, this becomes a very popular thing now where folks have a party and they reveal the gender of the upcoming baby. Absolutely. So we were just talking about this and Sue was saying, you were saying you're not having a baby. I am not having a baby. However, if I was. Okay, so that's what it is. If you were. This is what you would do. This is what you should do, and it's so much fun now, Sean. We've seen videos. We've been to baby showers where they opened up the presents, picked out the color. Have you never? I don't know if I have been to a gender reveal. Have you seen these? Yes, I have seen videos. Okay, so same thing. You're there, and and you see like, is it pink? Is it blue? I've seen a dad hit a golf ball. I've seen a baseball before. Mm This is the best idea yet. Okay. How about gender 
Revealing Donuts. All right. Gender Revealing Donuts. This has yes. a local twist to it. It sure does. Opco's Donuts is willing to help, and they've done these Gender Revealing Donuts, where if you call ahead of time, of course, you can tell them before okay. the surprise is given out, and they have so Gender So let me paint revealing. the picture here. Let me paint the picture here. Yeah, go ahead. You have your Gender Reveal party. Everybody sure. shows up. It's very festive. Yeah, you, know, you, have, you, know, you some, bet. You know, maybe you have some snacks and you know, mm-hmm. drinks and things going mm-hmm. on. Everybody's relaxing and everybody's excited to see. Mm -hmm. Someone comes out with a big platter full of the donuts. Donuts. Everybody takes a donut Mm -hmm. and then simultaneously you're Mm -hmm. biting into your donuts. Yes. And if you've got pink donuts on the inside, you've got a girl. Mm -hmm. Blue donuts, you got a boy. I think their donuts on the outside are magnificent. It looks like a Boston cream mm-hmm. donut with a big question mark. And then on the mark. inside has the different coloring Correct. cream. Correct. Okay. The sprinkles or the jimmies, mm-hmm. as I say, yeah. are around the bottom of pink mm-hmm. and blue. Mm-hmm. But what's inside is, is the what's gender. important. Now what happens, let's say you're gender having- Gender reveal. Let's say that what? you and, and Nicholas uh, are having twins. <sighs> Then what do you do? Do you know that I'm going to get emails because someone's not going to do hear you, this property? Do you get, I guess, do you get a tray of both then and you just hand out a, a, a mixed yeah, match of, of think, both colors? Yeah, I think you so do that. That would be fun because, say, you're biting it, mm-hmm. oh, it's it's pink, it's a girl. But then some other person's like, wait a minute, I got blue. Yes. Wait a minute now. That means twins. Twins. There you go. A little boy and mm-hmm. a little girl. A lot of the times. Or do they put two different colors in one donut? A lot of the times the parents don't know either. No. Yeah. So, oh, no, the parent. Well, no, 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 no. They can get a note from the doctor. Given the to doctor a best friend or, you know. And then they can the maid of call honor, up yeah, she and take care, care of this. it and all yes. that stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, that's cool. Yeah, I, I love this idea. Right, Is you, there any way we can use this? Like, can we have a gender-revealing elf? Well, the only way we can do this is if you have a baby. <laughs> Because you know, do you want me I, to have a? You don't I want cannot, me to have another baby. I, I don't know, because then but, you'll you'll be out of work for like a year. A year. Um, <laughs> but listen, is there any way that we could do this with Opcos? I'm thinking, let's have a baby elf in the studio, and we won't tell the listeners if it's a boy or a girl. Opcos brings us Christmas donuts. If it's red, it's a Who, girl. Who's giving birth to the elf? If it's green, <laughs> you and I. <laughs> All right, this is now. Is that, but I love it. Nah, I want to nah, use nah, this. Nah, no, nah, nah, I don't know. I think there's something we can anyway, do with this. Anyway, we'll think about it. Yeah. By the way, Sue has all the information. <laughs> you are giving birth to an elf. <sighs> <laughs> Sue, <laughs> Sue <sighs> has all the information up on our website at wopm.com. <laughs> at this awesome. point, I'll just settle for an Opco donut. <laughs> the Ocean County Breakfast Show, ninety-two point seven WOBM. WOBM, Sean Sue with you on your Thursday morning with Adele. Uh, Rumor has it. Now, rumor has it, Sue, that, you know, this Alexa, we keep hearing more and more about Alexa. Yeah. The, uh, what do they call Alexa? It's a, uh, the talking uh, box. (laughs) Yeah. They have all several kinds, but Alexa, yeah. uh, Voice recognition device. Sure. When you're in your house, you can say, Alexa, can I listen to 92.7 WOBM? Yes. Alexa, it will do different things, yes. WOBM News, it will come up. I mean, that's yes. pretty cool. It's sort of like a, a Siri kind of thing, but mm-hmm. for a home, you know. Sorry. Alexa, maybe turn the lights on or, or wake mm-hmm. a child up with yeah. an alarm. Yes. Well, this week, uh, mm-hmm. they're going to announce, according to CNBC reports, that the next major inroad for Alexa is at the workplace. It's called Alexa for Business, and And Alexa for Business would include skills like booking conference rooms and connecting uh, into uh, teleconferences with other people. And they say that Mm. even as Alexa is predicted to reach 128 million installations by 2020, its expansion into the business world shows that it's taking the offensive to stay ahead of other virtual assistants Mm -hmm. uh, from other companies. Like Apple will be coming out, I guess, with their version of Alexa and you know, Everyone Microsoft has, has theirs mm-hmm. and, you know, different things. But, yeah, so Alexa at the workplace is now their next place to go. Okay. That's something, though. 128 million Alexas out there. Yeah. I know I want one for Christmas. Yeah. I asked Santa. I sat on his lap. Mm-hmm. And I said I would really so like this. So there you this. go. But Alexa coming to the workplace. Okay. Uh, do you have one in your house? Alexa, Paige, Sue. Uh, no, I do not. Oh, please. 
please don't ask her to page me. Please. Alexa, page Sue. Don't bother me. Alexa, where's Sue? Oh, geez. Alexa, I need Sue. She's going to be used to that. <laughs> <laughs> 92.7 WOBM with the boss on a brand new Monday morning. It's November 27th, 838. Right now we've got 41 degrees. So over the weekend, it was a mystery at our house. Uh, you know, for any uh, parents out there, they may be able to relate to this. Right. Whose kids, you know, have retainers. Do you, do you know what a retainer is? It's a little mouth insert you sure. put in. You know, mm-hmm. it keeps your teeth nice mm-hmm. and straight. Sort of a follow-up after you get your braces. So, you know, my okay. daughter's long a- out of braces now. And uh, but she keeps her retainer and she pops it in, you know, uh, you know, at night just to, uh, you know, keep the teeth nice and aligned today. You don't want to go that good work to go to waste. Oh, is that true? Okay. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's almost like a little, uh, you know, plate thing. Or it's made of, you know, like plastic or whatever. Sure. I don't know what it is. Anyway, molds to your teeth and the, you know, the, you know dentist does it. Um, but anyway, uh, over the weekend, she lost the retainer. Okay. And we couldn't find it anywhere. Now, first thing I said to her was, why wasn't it in the retainer box? Because the box would be a little hard, you know, less hard to lose, you know, because the retainer, you know, basically is a very small little clear see-through, you know, tooth mouth thing, you know, so it's very hard to find, like a mouthpiece. Right. So I said, well, that would have helped if you kept it in the bonus. So anyway, we'll, we'll get to that later. Anyway, so we're looking around for the thing. And my wife's a firm believer in St. Anthony. She will, when something is lost, St. Anthony Are you is... you kidding? St. Anthony is the saint of uh, lost things. And, and it works. Uh, there's a little prayer you guys, that you okay. can say to St. Anthony. And I would say, you know, most of the time when she's lost something, when she prays to St. Anthony, uh, you know, it's going to mm-hmm. be found. But, you know, the, all the prayers of St. Anthony going unheard this time. Looked everywhere, tore her bedroom apart. We were in the garbage, you know. I mean, anywhere you no. could think of, you know. Did you? Throw? Would you want it if it's in the garbage? Well, you could put, you know, you know, clean Gross. it good. And okay. Mm-hmm. But it, what we thought was maybe she, you know, threw it out, you know, had it in her hand and threw it out by mistake or whatever. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, so we looked everywhere. Like I said, we were in the garbage. We were under the bed. We took the bed to par. We were, you know, looking around all the bedroom. You know, nothing found. Saint Anthony, no, you know, nothing. So we pretty much had given up at this point. She was even out in the cars looking like, maybe I brought it with me out to the car because I couldn't put it in, you know, I, I, I don't know. But anyway, so we looked around everywhere. Final St. Anthony prayer. Yeah. You know, we have given up, you know. And then all of a sudden, my wife found it. Where was it? It was in her dresser drawer. It somehow must have been knocked out, you know, from the top of the dresser where she had it on there. Got knocked into the clothes drawer. Did you drawer. go into the dresser before? Yes, actually, I looked through and That's I didn't crazy. find it, but she t- started taking clothes out and literally shaking the clothes out. It was in there. <laughs> Once again, St. Anthony, I'm telling you, <laughs> if you've lost something, St. Anthony is there for you when you have these little situations come up. So I'm sure we're not the only ones who uh, do a little St. Anthony uh, when you lose something. Right. But, uh, he, I hear he, a lot of people do. He will listen and mm-hmm. he will help you find it. We found the retainer. So I told, you know, my daughter, will you get a new box for the retainer so this way you don't lose it? <laughs> a big one, preferably. Yeah, one with a chain on it that's, you know, mounted to the wall or something like that. <laughs> because they're expensive. I mean, you're talking a couple hundred dollars to go get a replacement for it, probably. Right. So it's mm-hmm. not something you want to lose. But anyway, so that was what we were doing this weekend. It made for a nicer weekend being that we found, you know, I mean, it wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world if we had to, you know, just go get a new one. But the fact that she found it and it wasn't in the garbage, Sue, that was a bonus. Yeah, very cool. <laughs> you know, it was only in a, a dresser it drawer. So it would not been good if it was in the garbage. <laughs> but anyway, so that's what we would, were doing over the weekend. But it was found and all is well. And her teeth are Yay. nice and straight. Okay. <laughs> I like that. that. Show. With Shawn Michaels and Sue Ocean County's best variety. 92.7 WOBM. Let's go. WOBM, good morning. Good morning, Sean. So how are you today? Hi, Doing lovely. Good. How What's are you? Up? I just wanted to call about St. Anthony. Oh, you use St. Anthony to help you find things. You know what I do, though? What we taught us when we were younger, you say, Tony, Tony, come around. Something's lost and can't be found. And that was your little saying, Tony, Tony, come that around. Was... Something's lost and hasn't wow. been found. Can't be found. Yeah, that was it. That's cute. Yeah, And it would show up. And we show up, yeah. Crazy. I'm telling you, my <laughs> wife, every time something's lost, you'll hear the St. Anthony going on. And, uh, oh, oh you know, yes. And, and next thing you know, we find it. That's true. He always comes through. <laughs> Thanks for calling in today. Have a good awesome. day today. St. Anthony, I'm telling you, Sue, if you, uh, you know, yeah, you lose it. Tony, Why Tony. Why not? It worked with the retainer. It can work for you. can't be found. 
All right, give us a call, 237-WOBM. So, yeah, so the swing through. What do you think, Nat? <laughs> I, uh, I grew up with somebody who had a slide that went from the house into their pool. Well, yeah, into the, into the pool, nice. I could see. Mm -hmm. But, of course, this was like, you know, the richest family in town. Well, yeah, I've <laughs> seen, I've seen houses I mean, with it's, slides it's in the pool. It's very expensive. Yeah. And I have a ranch home, so it's a little hard. I don't have, like, So you would want I'd the kids one... to go up through your attic and then come down. I'm not down. just talking kids. I'm talking okay. Nick and I. For and, then, yeah. and what window What window would they go out? The front window? The family or? room. Out the front of the house? Out back. Oh, out in the yeah, backyard. Yeah. And well, what would they land by. into? Land back into the family room. Wait a minute. The slide goes so Start much around that correct. it goes back into the house? Yes. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a water park without the water. It's like a water park, but an indoor slide. Yes. Mm -hmm. With big pillows that's and what I call that bugs. that's a nut house is what yeah. I call it <laughs> well, we already have like we already a, know we have monkey bars built in there we have uh we have some pretty cool things yeah, in the house it's amazing what you've put into the house mm -hmm. it's like you took the outside and put it inside inside and absolutely. then you put the couch outside onto the front lawn <laughs> on the so porch. The, yeah, on the, you it's know. on the front porch <laughs> oh, we're not that bad yet you got the inside out house <laughs> we know where it is oh, yeah. oh weather quick, for today so. yeah let's get the weather sunny today pleasant mid 50s is going to be a gorgeous day all right wobm good morning hi sean how are you i'm good how are you who's this i'm good it's marianne hi marianne and hey, where are you from hi i'm from beachwood so what do you think so i think it should be sue mall at the mall oh you don't like sue mall on the mall <laughs> No, I'd rather at the mall. Sue I like that. But see, that just sort of just describes it. Doesn't have any flair to it. Like I Sue like Mall it. at the mall. That's like Sue Mall yeah. in the mall. Sue you know? Mall yeah. at the mall. I like it, Marianne. <laughs> okay, let's decide on at the mall. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving. Sue honey. Mall's on in at the mall. There you go. All right. All right thanks for your call. I don't know you. what we're going to call it, Sue. We're just going to say Sue Mall. You know what, Sean and Sue. Are at the mall. Come join us. That's Sue it. Ocean County Mall. That's what we're going to call you all day. Sake. All day. That's what we will refer to you as. Done that for How years. about that? Sue Ocean County Mall. Listen, just come uh, it happy. works on several Do levels. Do not come grumpy. It works on several levels. Do not come grumpy. Sue Ocean County Mall. <laughs> 92.7 WOBM, Sean and Sue with you on your Thursday morning, waking up 746, 41 degrees. Want to give a big shout out, Sue, this morning to our friends there in Lenoka Harbor. <laughs> CJ Bruno wrote us, yeah, from the Lenoka Harbor Volunteer Fire Company. And I just thought this was adorable what he wrote. They're talking about their um, 30th annual Santa breakfast, okay, coming up this Sunday December 3rd. But he wrote, Sean and Sue, my favorite radio hosts in the world. Wow, I like that. CJ. Going global with CJ and the Lenoka Harbor Fire Department. Your favorite fire lieutenant. How's nice. that? Very nice. All right, you bet. We'll talk all about this. We'll also get a blog up about this. But very cool. It's the 30th annual Santa Breakfast, Sunday, December 3rd, 7 a.m. to noon, right there at the Lenoka Harbor Firehouse. All right, Don't that's this miss Sunday. Out. Santa and Mrs. Claus. Thirty will be years there. they've been doing this Sue, for 30th the kids. year, and you can bring your letters too. And we always I'll have my letter there. Want to support all our first responders throughout Ocean and Monmouth counties. Absolutely. You guys, gals, do a fabulous job. So shout out to Lenoka Harbor there you Fire go. Station. We'll talk more have about it in the next Sunday. today and tomorrow about Santa coming to the firehouse. So uh, hopefully lots of people show. Yeah, should be a great time. So we look forward to that. Weather for today, Sue, looks like a cooler day, but we should see some breaks of sun at times. Yeah, cooler, uh, partly cloudy, highs near 50. And then tonight, light rain showers, patchy fog, overnight low into the 40s. Tomorrow, those skies, they're clearing up, mainly sunny for a Friday, highs into the low 50s. Right, right now we're at... Uh, 41 in Tom's River. We'll come back. We'll check the highways next with Nancy Remy and the Ocean County Traffic Watch on WOBM. WOBM, good morning. Sean and Sue with you. We're playing the morning coffee contest. Who do we have with us? My name's Al from Tom's River. All righty, Al. We're doing Movie Madness with Marquee Cinemas this week. Our question was, what was the evil magician's name in Frosty the Snowman? Was it Professor Henkel? You got it. Oh, very good. Thank I you. I thought this was going to take a little while for somebody to win, but you got it right off the good bat. Good for you. Professor, Thank you very much. remember Professor Hinkle? He oh. wanted that hat. It's my hat. Yeah, Professor Hinkle was his name. Congratulations, Al. Thanks for joining us. 
Sue, I thought that was a tough one. Yeah, I thought so, too. I asked you, do you have any idea? You said, no. Professor Hinkle was his name. <laughs> I want my hat back, Frosty. Oh, <laughs> All right, we'll be back. More chances to win coming up with the 12 Days of Christmas and the $1,000 shopping spree with WOBM. 92.7 WOBM. Sean and Sue with you for Wednesday morning, November 22nd, waking up 608, 54 degrees in Tom's River. And, you know, we talk about news, and a lot of times the news is bad. It's right. fake. It's this, it's that. Yes. Everybody's, uh, but here's a good story. Folks over at the Ocean County Vocational Technical Schools here in Ocean County uh, doing a great job to help feed those who may be in need this Thanksgiving. Mm. They put That's together wonderful. this week, or they've been working on it uh, for a while, 3,000 meals to be distributed. Wow. 3,000 3, meals. 3,000 meals these kids made. Yeah. And they're going to be distributing them today, I believe. They're going out. And mm. thanks to the staff at OCVTS and all the folks. You can check out the story and pictures of the kids working and putting these meals together as well. And they gave us some stats as to what it takes to put 3,000 right, meals together. Mm -hmm. 475 turkeys they had to carve. Mm -hmm. They had to peel 750 pounds of potatoes. They had to crack 250 pounds of green beans. They had to mix up 320 pounds of stuffing. And they had to pour 75 gallons wow. of gravy. Oh. And uh, they put these together, and everybody gets a nice meal, uh, which includes all the trimmings, turkey, potatoes, green beans, Jeez. stuffing, gravy, and uh, 3,000 people Amazing. that may not have had a nice Thanksgiving meal, mm. for whatever reason, will have a nice Thanksgiving meal that this year. So, so isn't that great. nice? So if you want to check out the photos, it's on our website at WOBM.com. It's on our Facebook page as well. But they sent over I pictures of all the folks there, you know, working in the kitchen. Of course, there was a lot more. We couldn't get pictures of everybody. But we have a lot of stuff up there for you to check out. And those kids will have so much to remember after yeah. making these meals. You know, just when they sit down with their family, they'll think about what they did this yeah. week. They had a big assembly line going and uh, so many people helping great. out. Uh, we applaud the Ocean County Vocational Technical School you bet. They do and good all things. the work that they do. And uh, this is a great thing for oh, Thanksgiving. So check awesome. it out. The story is at WOBM.com. Open house today. Georgian Court University. Make it your place. 92.7 WOBM. Sean Sue with you. Nancy's with us. We were just sampling, Nancy, the new Oreo that's out. It's hot cocoa Oreos. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> but isn't it already chocolatey? Yes. Yeah, it's a little more chocolatey. Let's just more chocolate. think, yeah, yeah, more chocolate. It's like chocolate and vanilla inside. Like so sort of like, you know, the whipped good. cream and the... That's an Oreo. Yeah. <laughs> it tastes really good. It's a chocolate... It's a chocolatey or more vanilla Oreo. Yeah. It's actually know, pretty it good. It's more of a milky taste. I mean, okay. I'm, I'm pretty... Um, good when it comes to tasting oreos like i can tell you're a connoisseur so of yes, oreos thank you um and this one definitely has a different almost milkier is it like taste. you've already dunked it sort of and that center has that milky mm -hmm. chocolate when you eat an oreo with the white filling or even the chocolate filling it doesn't have that that sensation on your palate so on she sounds like a sommelier. To make like, yes. you know, pouring the wine out and telling you how it's going to be against your tongue. She actually oh, took she actually took Oreo a sip of nice. she actually took a sip of water, had a little sorbet in between. And, and then right, in right, between right. and then she had the Oreo. Salad, so, yeah. To find out which Oreo is better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know the worst part about Oreos though, after you eat them, they get all over your teeth. Mm -hmm. You have to make sure you go with it. I wasn't the... going to tell you, but right there, Sean. Right. Oh, stop. I already <laughs> went to the bathroom and looked. Yeah, there's nothing worse. So Oreos always end up on your teeth. Oh, but, yes, uh... well, I find that wine stains the teeth, too. So, yeah, yeah okay. it comes with the territory. Right. It's a cookie tasting. Right? You think that's a stretch? Wine-flavored Oreos. I don't know. Oh. Like a berry thing. Uh, maybe. Yes, I do. All right. <laughs> All right. Not on your palate, right? No. All right. Off to the highways we go. Nancy Reby's there with the Ocean County Traffic Watch. So as we check in with a uh, busier go. 92.7 WOBM. Good morning, Sean Sue with you on a Tuesday morning, November 28th. Got lots of sunshine, but don't let it fool you. It's a chilly one out there. 34 right now in Tom's River. So we're talking about stocking stuffers, Sue. Okay. And we were My asking fave. listeners what they think are good stocking stuffer ideas. I think when I was younger, the stockings were held. We had steps going up to a mm -hmm. second floor, and the stockings were on the uh, railings. Mm -hmm. I think that was my most exciting 
thing to go through the stocking. All the little items yes. that were in there because you had, you know, your presents, but then you had a whole big, you yeah, know, stocking full of things. things were hanging out of it. I mean, it was always a fun time. So we're getting social with listeners this morning. Robin wrote in, she said, cell phone chargers. And I agree oh, with that. You can big. You can yeah. never have enough chargers or cords and all that you good stuff. You can get stuff. them for a good deal now, too. Yeah. So mm-hmm. uh, cell phone chargers, she says, uh, make a great stocking okay. stuffer. Linda says, how about gift certificates to Wawa? Always good for gas, nice. coffee, you know, maybe I never a got buttered gift roll. certificates, but yeah, all I got right. socks. Uh, Courtney wrote That's in it. lottery scratch-offs. I agree oh, with that. Lord. Those are nice. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, Dorothy said, how about headphones or earbuds? Okay. You know, you can never have enough of those mm-hmm. as well. Uh, let's see here. Dana wrote in. She said, gift cards. How about socks? That's right. That's what I always had, socks. Lip balm. Mm-hmm. Candy. Makeup. And uh, she said when she was little, Santa used to put orange and apples into their stocking. Oh, so they got a little fruit. Good idea. Yeah. Uh, Judy said gift cards as well. How about beauty supplies? Maybe some candy. Sherry wrote in she wants Philadelphia Eagles tickets in her stockings. <laughs> that would be nice, so, Sherry. I'd uh, go with you. That's a pretty Santa, expensive are you little listening? stocking stuffer. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give me any of those. Yeah. <laughs> I promise you this, Sue. If he puts any of those in my stocking, You'll share with me? I'll give them to you. Thank you can you. have them. Mm. All right. Thanks to everybody who wrote in this morning. Let us know about some stocking <laughs> stuffers. Um, yeah, little things, you know, the, you know, just uh, all kinds of fun little things. You sure. Know? Um, the lip balm's pretty good and uh, pretty big in my house and gum. Yeah. You know, um, those those two will definitely be hitting the stocking. Yeah, candy this year. always a, a big thing in the stocking. Mm-hmm. So, but uh, yeah, start thinking about it now because you can get some little creative little ideas sure. in there for Run you. Run over to you know the Dollar Tree, mm-hmm. Dollar General, yeah. and pick them up. Yeah, just uh, no coal in those stockings. <laughs> so there you go. As I think we, I always had a little bit of coal. A little bit of coal. You know the coal candy? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, a little bit of coal at the bottom there. Yeah. Just a reminder. Santa was so, trying to be funny. Just a reminder. You're right on the edge there. <laughs> On the edge there. You know what I'm the Ocean County Breakfast Show with Sean Michaels and Sue Ball. Ocean County's best variety, 92.7 92.7 WOBM, Sean Sue with you on a Thursday morning, 913, 43 degrees in Tom's River. And of course, we are less than a week away now from the Making Miracles Radiothon to benefit Children's Miracle Network. And, you know, we talk about how over the years we've raised over $100,000 to help children through the Children's Miracle Network. Mm-hmm. And once again, you and I will host this year's Radiothon next Wednesday and Thursday, broadcasting from our Town Square Media Studios here in downtown Tom's River for over 26 hours, Sue. Absolutely. We are starting at 5 a.m., going all the way till 6 p.m. on Wednesday and doing the same thing on Thursday. We are here those hours talking to you about kids, talking to kids, and talking to their families about Children's Miracle Network. It is a phenomenal, phenomenal organization that helps out kids. And I always say... Donate for your healthy kid. Yes, exactly. Absolutely. Uh, afternoon host Justin Lewis will be live on location with the WOBM hometown crew taking donations from the community. So be on the lookout for them as they hit the streets. We'll have updates where they're going to be while we're here in studio doing the Radiothon. They'll be out on the streets so you can visit them. And uh, we've got ways that you can donate next week. All very lined up and, and right there for you so you can help us out next week. Go to our website at WOBM.com. Check it out and uh, mark it on your calendars for next Wednesday and Thursday. As we always say, if we could get a dollar from every listener out there, our job would be done Absolutely. real quick. If every listener did $1, mm-hmm. we would have this done with thousands of dollars in and we'd be uh, you know done for another year. So uh, that's what we're looking to do next week. You could also take a look back. We put video up, Sue, on the blog of last year's Making Miracles Radiothon that we hosted. So you can reminisce and check out last year's Radiothon and, of course, get all the information you need to donate and help out for this year's Radiothon. So that's coming up next week. I want you to get some sleep this weekend, Sue. All right. Because we're going to need you well rested. You keep telling me to sleep. I want you to start... Um, no, I'll probably bring in a lounge chair. I want you to book in, you know, start, you know, saving up that I time, have some room you know. Over here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna decorate. I'm gonna put in a lamp. 
you know, I'm going to make it homey for mm -hmm. two days straight. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to bring in a um, lounge chair. Yeah, but I don't want you sleeping during huh, the radiothon. I want wait. you to. I want you to start. You How know. How about a hanging swing in here? No. Yeah. It's no. I could bring in a hammock. Anyway. What do you think? I want you to rest this weekend, not during the radiothon. I'll rest the day of. No. <laughs> Check it out. We got details at oh, wobf.com. Thanks for listening to Sean and Sue's podcast on 92.7 WOBM. For more details, go to WOBM.com.